weekend we sent an update on the best strategies to trade going forward in the second half of 2016. And the soybean swing strategy and the soybean day trade strategy were two of those strategies. And you see this week um, one small loss on the soybean swing on the short side. Big winner here on the long side. And we're sitting on a short trade here with an open position profit of $2,500. So um, these were excellent recommendations coming into the week. So if you didn't have the opportunity to get at those strategies, you had the opportunity to um, take a look and consider trading these strategies and have the opportunity to, to take these kind of trades in an S&P market that's very, um, it's very narrow ranging intraday lately. So you might want to consider swing trading or day trading soybeans. I want to show you the day trade strategy. Here is soybeans day trader three this week. We've had four trades, one every day. Uh, a loss on Monday with, based on a break-even stop with slippage and commission. Um, a winner on Tuesday on the long side and winners on Wednesday and Thursday on the short side. So once again, some nice uh, selections for this week. And that is Soybeans Day Trade 3 and Soybean Swing. Let us know if you have any questions and if you want to take a look at trading these strategies through the end of 2016 as I think that the soybeans op market provides some great opportunities in the second half, so you want to consider trading that market right now. The S&Ps are um, very narrow ranging, so if you're d day trading the S&Ps, um, there's not much trend, not much range lately, and the market tends to do that when it's at highs, and so we'll see how that continues on, but in the meantime, check out soybeans.